Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a finance summary dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this finance summary dashboard. This is the overview page wherein we are showing the revenue, total revenue, total expenses, profit or loss, the maximum revenue and this is the maximum expenses. This is by transaction. So this is the maximum transaction for a revenue and this is the maximum transaction for a this is the maximum value of a transaction for expense. Then here we are showing the revenue by the top three categories and this is the contribution of those top three categories in the total revenue. This is the total expenses by the top three categories and this is the contribution in the total expenses of these top three categories. Here we are showing the cumulative profit and loss by the month and this is the revenue versus expense by the department. On the right hand side we have given the slicer so you can select any quarter, month or the department or the payment method also. If you click anywhere on the slicer the whole dashboard will be changed. Here we have given the navigation pan so you can just go to the revenue page just click on this this is the revenue page and here we are showing the month on month revenue. And this is the revenue by the category this is the revenue by the department and this is revenue by the responsible person again we have the same slicers here. Then you can go to the expense sheet this is the expense by the month expense by the category expense by the department expense by the re responsible person. Here we have the profit and loss page wherein we are showing the revenue versus expense by the month and this is the profit loss by the month and here we have the profit loss by the department also. Now I will show you the data and the other things which we have created so that we can explain you how we have created this dashboard. If you want to learn the detailed how we can create this type of dashboard using the pivot table and the charts in Microsoft Excel. You can join our Udemy course for the data analysis. We have given the link in the video's description box. So first let's enable the worksheet so you can go to the file and options. Go to the advance just scroll it down. And then just check this show sheet tab. Just click on OK. Now we can see the various sheets here. The first sheet is the overview then we have the data sheet here. So first let me explain you the data. In the data we have the transaction ID, then we have the date, we have month, quarter, year. Then we have here department. This is the transaction type like it is a revenue or the expense. Then we have the category of the revenue or the expense. This is the amount for the revenue or the expense. The payment method, approval status, the responsible person. Here we have created one calculated field which is a formula and we have this is the amount with sign like if it is a revenue then we are taking here positive value or the same amount if it is the expense then we are taking it negative you can see all right now we have created the support sheet and in the support sheet we have the various pivot table you can see here first we are showing this is for the overview page this one and uh, we are showing here revenue then we are showing here expense this is the profit and loss if i show in the field then you can see this is nothing but we are just taking the amount with sign which will be profit or loss because automatically it will take the sum we have positive and negative both so it is taking that here we are taking just the amount this uh, total amount and the transaction type in the filter so we are just filtering by the revenue so this is revenue and this is expense okay similarly here we are taking the maximum revenue for a transaction and maximum expense so what we have done here let me show you we are just taking here transaction type on the top and we just have put the amount here then rather than taking the sum we are just taking the max here so that will take the maximum value and here we are filtering by the revenue and here we are filtering by the expense so this is max expense this is top three categories so what we have done here let me show you this one also we are taking here category and we are taking here revenue 
and this revenue is nothing but just the amount we just have renamed this field the amount field as revenue and in the filter we have the transaction type so we have applied one filter here that uh, will be the value filter and the top 10 we have taken here top 3 and by revenue revenue we just have changed the uh, sum of amount as revenue and here we have changed the sum of amount as expenses and we have just uh, used the filter here for the expense filter here for the revenue otherwise both pivots are same if i change it with the expense then it will show the same information you can see here we have put one formula percentage in total revenue so it is showing the contribution in the total revenue percentage we are just taking the uh, amount on the uh, g10 which is this one okay this pivot table so this total amount divided by total revenue and here we are taking this total expense of these three divided by total expense so it is showing the what is the contribution of these three category in the total revenue or expense then here we have created uh, a chart with the help of uh, field uh, 10 we have taken one calculated field which is the field 2 this one we have just put here name as field 2 and the value is 10 just because to create this chart here we will explain you so uh, let me show you first other pivots also this was the overview page so all the overview page we have created on the basis of these all section then this is the revenue page we have put the title here so that you can easily see and can change as per your requirement these all pivot for the revenue page and here we have taken four four pivot tables and these are the simple pivot table uh, month we have put here and the sum of amount here and transaction type we have put on the top everywhere you can see the transaction type is revenue we have filtered uh, filter the revenue and because this is the revenue page the similar pivot table we have for the expense page also by month sum of amount by category sum of amount by department sum of amount and by responsible person and these all filtered by the expense here we have the profit and loss and we have used the same field to here uh, because we have to create that tornado chart and uh, we have taken here sign amount because we have to take the negative and positive by the month this is month by the profit and loss profit and loss is nothing but the uh, amount with sign that always will be the profit and loss automatically because we have negative and positive this is uh, profit and loss by the responsible person okay so these all are pivot tables we have created now i will come to the overview page first of all we have designed uh, this using the excel shapes so let me show you how we have designed we have protected this you can unprotect from the review and just click on unprotect sheet it will not ask for any password because we haven't put any password here now you can see these all shapes are separate rectangles these all are the separate things you can see this one the separate all shapes so we have created using the multiple shapes text boxes okay then we have created the hyperlink here uh, so if I show let's say revenue uh, and if I go to the edit link then you can see it is going to the revenue page okay so this is simple hyperlinks we have created and we have put the different shapes here this one also the shape and this is also the text box you can change the name if you want let me keep this here now we have created the these small boxes this is the equal to support seat c3 so this is text box so what you can do you can simply insert a text box from here and just drag the text box then you can click on the border of the text box from the formula bar just press equal to and from the support seat let's say i want to take the revenue and then the revenue value so whatever you want to take you can just select and enter then you can just remove the shape outline as no outline shape fill as no fill so then you can just change the font and everything now this value will, will be available and whenever this value will be changed this value also will be changed similarly we have created these top card you can see the formula this is by c4 this is by c3 this is c10 c11 c16 c17 so you can see here c16 this title and c17 similarly here c10 c11 okay so all are just equal to from the different uh, range 
all right then we have created this chart this is the normal uh, chart or the pivot chart we have created this chart using this pivot table so you can simply insert the chart from here like donut chart then you can further format this chart to create this one and in the center we just have put a tax box this is from h17 so if you come here you can see this is the h17 okay so this is percentage and similarly here also and similarly we have created this line chart using uh, this pivot table and this chart we have created this chart we have created using this pivot table okay because we have here negative number and then we have the positive number we have ignored this one and here we have put this 10 and uh, which is in the center so we just uh, have shown the data label in the data label we have just displayed the category name and we remove the value which is 10 if i enable this so it will show the 10 okay and then we have created the slicer to create the slicer you can just come to the support sheet and you can insert the slicer from here and you can decide which slicer you want to create accordingly you can place the slicer here in this section all right then we have created the revenue page in the revenue page this is again from the revenue uh, sheet so this is uh, again protected sheet so you can unprotect that every sheet will not ask for any password you can easily unprotect here we have created normal column chart this is the uh, revenue by category this is the revenue by department revenue by responsible person so we have already created these pivot table you can see here for the revenue revenue by month revenue by category revenue by department revenue by responsible person and same here also okay as well as you can just check it out if i unprotect this you can just check it out if i right click select data right click on the chart and then select data and you can see the name of the pivot table pivot table 13 if i come here this is the revenue by category if i come to the pivot table here you can see the name of the pivot table this is the pivot table 13 so easily you can identify which chart has been created from which pivot table if you want to modify the pivot table you can modify that chart will be changed accordingly and you can adjust the chart also similarly we have created this expense chart also we have already created all the pivot tables so we have created that and the profit and loss also this chart is uh, created on the basis of this pivot table here we have this uh, negative number positive number in the center we have taken 10 and in place of 10 we are showing the month name here this one and this is the normal line chart and this is the normal column chart all right so that is how we have created this if you want to learn in detail how to use the pivot table and how to use the slicer how to create the cards and the charts or the pivot charts and how to create a beautiful dashboard uh, then you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching